Now while solving 2012 paper, I somehow missed this question. Here the question is number of triplets ABC of positive integers satisfying 2 to the power A minus 5 to the power B into 7 to the power C equals 1 is. Now we look at patterns in powers of 2. It'll be 2, then 4, then 8, then 6, and then after every 4 values, it'll repeat in the same fashion 2, 4, 8, and 6. Now any power of 5, its last digit will be simply 5. Now we look at powers of 7. Powers of 7 will be 7, 9, 3, 1, and then after every 4 interval, it'll again be this 7, 9, 3, and 1. Now here we have 5 to the power b into 7 to the power c. Now we multiply 5 to the power b and 7 to the power c. This last digit will be 5, 5, 5, and 5. So any combination of b and c will always result in last digit as 5. And if you want this to be 1, then here we should have 6. And here we can have any values for b and c. So this a, it must be a multiple of 4. So we can write this as 2 to the power 4k minus 5 to the power b into 7 to the power c and this value it must be 1. Now we can write this 2 as 3 minus 1 to the power 4k minus we can write this 5 as 3 into 2 minus 1 to the power b and we can write this 7 as 3 into 2 plus 1 to the power c and it will be equal to 1. Now we take left hand side modulo 3 here we'll get this remainder as 1 here this remainder will be minus 1 to the power b and here it'll be simply 1 and right hand side will be 1 so modulo 3 left hand side will be 1 minus minus 1 to the power b whereas right hand side is 1 now this left hand side it cannot be 1 for any possible value of b that means this equation has no solution or the number of triplets ABC is simply zero and that's your option D.